I don't even know where to start with this video. This is probably going to be one of my most important Cardano ecosystem videos. Not my most important video, not my most important crypto video, or my most important Cardano video. My most important Cardano ecosystem video because there is so much opportunity that lies in, lies in crypto that, that lies within Cardano, but there's so much opportunity that lies within Cardano native tokens and, and the ecosystem that is building. I often have said, and we've been tracking this, Ethereum back here in 2020, just look at it. Just DeFi kind of just coming online for, for Ethereum. And then the ecosystem exploded in the 2020, 2021 bull market, right? You can just see this from like 500 million total value locked to over 100 billion. Ethereum exploded. That was its first DeFi bull market. Cardano is setting up for that for the very first time. And Cardano right now sitting at 200 some million dollars prior to the next bull market. And it's going to have its first Cardano DeFi bull market. It's going to be massive. I really think it is. And with that comes opportunity. But stepping away from total value locked in that illustration, we step over to the world of just the tokens themselves. And we step over into the world of market cap of these tokens. You can see this is the top 20 tokens. Uh, well, there's a bunch of tokens on here, but top 20 tokens on Cardano right now. And I just did a post on this. That's what this, this video revolves around. And I want to break it down. Hit the subscribe, everybody. Hit the like as we prepare for the next bull cycle. And I appreciate all of you watching. I want to just preface before we dig into the ridiculous numbers. I'm more of a conservative person, a conservative investor. And so what we're talking about here truly does equate to 50, 100x potential gains. I have a piece of my portfolio and my approach allocated towards that. But it's that high risk, you could lose it all type of play for me. I am not going all in on this stuff. I just want to say that. And you have to be extremely careful in crypto in general, even with the blue chips, even with Bitcoin, let alone when you start getting into the smaller market cap cryptos. But regardless, I think the opportunity in terms of really high gains, the opportunity in Cardano offers the, probably the, the highest reward, least risk. And I want to explain why in this video. So this all revolves around this thread that I just did. And we're going to take it step by step. I'm going to show you the charts, break down the numbers. But I said, Cardano holders, it's now time to pay attention, prepare for the first Cardano ecosystem bull run in history. Currently, the top 20 Cardano native tokens, total market cap is around 850 million. So here's tap tools. Once again, here are the, the numbers, the top 20. You can see them right there. And I'm saying currently the top 20 are 850 million, $850 million. For really clear perspective right now, Ethereum top 20 coins is around 235 billion. That's over 200 X higher. And this is before the bull market. So you can just go to any website really that kind of lists top Ethereum ecosystem coin prices and market caps. And there it is. And there are stable coins also included in there. But if, even if you remove stable coins, I believe the number is over a hundred billion. So $235 billion with stable coins, a hundred billion dollars, still a hundred X higher than Cardano without, without stable coins. And this is before the bull market. A Cardano explosion is setting up. It's entirely realistic that the top 20 Cardano native tokens in the next bull market hits $100 billion total market cap. Think about that for just a minute. I'm saying it's realistic, and I think it is. Let me know in the comments below if you think so. Top 20 Cardano native tokens could hit $100 billion. Again, for perspective, that's, in, that's say the top of a bull market. That's happening. Before the bull market even starts, Ethereum's over 2x that, right? Imagine what Ethereum ecosystem coins is going to equal. Now, to give a little bit more clarity on this, if we go to a Cardano chart, we've talked a lot about Cardano, ADA, right? In previous cycles, ADA dominance in bull cycles, ADA dominance has hit 4%, right in that 4% range. And it's something I'm anticipating once again for ADA, if not more, because Cardano ecosystem is having its first ecosystem being around online in the next bull cycle. But let's say 4%, in this world where total crypto market cap is hitting $10 trillion, what's 4% for ADA for, for dominance? Well, that would be around a $400 billion market cap, around $11. 
Maybe it's less, right? Maybe we're $10 around $350 billion. Maybe we're at like $300 billion market cap. Either way, in that world of a bull market high, crypto's exploding, so much adoption and institution coming into the space, in a world where, say, it is sitting at $300, $400 billion market cap, it's realistic, in my view, that Cardano native tokens are sitting at $100 billion total market cap. And keep in mind, the list of the top 20 is probably going to be fluctuating and changing. There are projects not even listed on tap tools, not even, not even trading yet, not even live yet, that could very easily be in the top 20, the top five on this list. So this will be changing, but it's just the thought that the top 20 Cardano native tokens could see $100 billion total. And from the current levels, we're looking at 50 to 100x potential. And it's just right in front of us. And the reason I say it's right in front of us, and I kind of mentioned it in this post, is just the fact that Cardano, I think, is on track to do a very similar thing to what Ethereum did, right, in, in its first DeFi bull market. Cardano's set to do a very similar thing, but in its own way. And I think part of its own way means, in terms of things like market cap, not hitting as high of a market cap as Ethereum has done in cycles past, right? But on track to do what Ethereum has been doing as its ecosystem grows. And I think all of these numbers are conservative, conservative, conservatively aligned with what ADA has done in cycles past. Last cycle, ADA hit $93 billion market cap. If you go to something like Ethereum, Check out Ethereum in its first kind of bull cycle. It hit it, it hit a, a little bit above that, 125. And here's the first bull cycle, DeFi bull cycle for Ethereum, 546. So to say that Cardano could do 300, 400 billion is on track. It's not as high as Ethereum, obviously. But for Cardano to have its first very similar DeFi bull cycle, 340 or 300 to 400 billion dollar market cap is in play for ADA which we've been talking about and tracking. And so with that, I think it is entirely in play for Cardano ecosystem coins that we see here, whether they're these ones or different, to see 100 billion. And if we're sitting at total around $850 million in total market cap for these top 20, 100 billion is very simply 100x in terms of the top 20 market cap. Now, in there could be 10Xs, 20Xs, 50Xs, 70Xs, 80Xs, whatever. But that's 100X in terms of market cap uh, growth for Cardano ecosystem. And I just think it's realistic. How this plays out, nobody knows. It is so high risk. I can't say that enough. But I think for me, it's worth exploring. It's worth allocating to these different projects. Because when you start digging into the projects, some of the projects are really cool, right? And some of the teams are really cool and they're building extremely awesome products. If you compare a lot of the products on Cardano to a lot of the products on Ethereum, I'm saying Cardano is building, these projects are building in a more decentralized and secure environment. And that has value, I think. And by the way, I know there's a lot of people out there that are kind of like, well, how do I even trade these things? Everyone, Cardano ecosystem, it's so easy to just, you can go to Tap Tools. And again, I'm not sponsored by Tap Tools. I'm not sponsored by Dex Hunter over here, but you can go to Tap Tools. If I move this over just so that you can see, say, open up a coin, connect your wallet. There's a bunch of wallets that connect. Dex Hunter lets you just trade right in Tap Tools and you can buy it. It's in your wallet. The Cardano native token is in your wallet. And Dex Hunter, you know, it'll get, it's an aggregator, so it'll get you the best pricing, the best prices. For whatever you're looking to do and that's just it it's so easy just to to not only accumulate or buy these tokens but it's just easy to dig into the data with sites like like tap tools and just see what's going on in the ecosystem but everyone <laughs> there are so many people across the crypto space that are just like cardano is not doing anything and the fact that that is a narrative floating around and this is happening what you see on the screen Meaning Cardano is doing a lot, a lot in such a similar fashion to what we saw with Ethereum before its first DeFi cycle. 
the fact that there's that that negative narrative that is not true, it really just makes me that much more bullish on what is here. Um, why that narrative spreads and why so many people don't you know dislike Cardano, it is what it is. There's so many different reasons, but the, the fact remains, the opportunity, I think, for me is huge in terms of what Cardano ecosystem is doing. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm doing this video. I'm tracking that, right? We've been tracking these cycles for almost six years on this YouTube channel in terms of crypto and Bitcoin and all that. And I think a lot of the data has been so consistent and repetitive. And if this plays out, I think there's just really some nice gains to be had in the Cardano ecosystem. And so there's so much more to be said, so much, so, so much more data to dig into here. But that's just, I wanted to do maybe 10 minutes of just showing you what I'm seeing in terms of Cardano ecosystem. Let me know your thoughts, everybody. I appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe. Turn notifications on. It's not just Cardano, everybody. It's crypto. I bring the crypto news, Bitcoin analysis, altcoin analysis, all that good stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. God bless.